Hey everyone, welcome to the next tutorial. And this one we're going to be building a super uh, simple script. It's actually only a couple lines long, um, but it's a real quick program you can put together that'll pretty much just crash any computer you throw it on. Um, all it's all it does is once the once the files on the computer, it'll just keep launching itself over and over again until pretty much the computer just crashes and shuts off. Uh, the only real way to fix it is to boot the computer in safe mode and locate the file and delete it. Um, it's pretty simple to make, so we're going to be using the OS module, and then we're all you're going to do is just make an infinite loop, and we're just going to tell this file to launch itself. So you can do start file, and this will take a file path, and it'll find it and just execute it. So to launch the file itself that... Uh, this particular file right here that c contains the code, you can just do uh, underscore, underscore, file, underscore, underscore. And this will just equal the name of the file, so it'll be main.py. The problem we're going to have is I want this to be an executable, so uh, I don't want it to have .py on it. So what we can do to get rid of that, if you put brackets, we can do some uh, index slicing here. Uh, put a colon and minus 2. What this minus 2 says, get rid of the last two characters of the file name. So we're getting rid of the pi at the end, and then what we'll do is we'll just add exe. So this will be the file name plus exe. So once we convert this to an exe and throw it on the virtual machine, uh, it should work and not uh, crash. Um, so let's go ahead and be be careful not to accidentally double click this on your machine because it will crash your, your computer. Um, but let's go ahead and install um, autopy to exe. And I think I already have it installed on here. Yeah, I already got it installed. So let's go ahead and launch AutoPy to EXE. Browse to our file. Uh, Main.py. We want it to be one file. We want it to be... Uh, you can actually have it as uh, hide the console. And what's cool is you, the user wouldn't be able to see what's going on at all. It, their computer would just go really slow for about a minute and then finally crash. Um, but let's do console-based. That way we'll actually see like a million console windows pop up. So let's go to convert pi to exe. While we're doing that, let's also go ahead and load up our uh, Windows 10 client here. And that's loading up on my other monitor here. Open the output folder. So there's our file. Uh, just be careful not to double click that because it'll crash your computer. Waiting on this VM to load up. All right. So we have our VM here. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to drag our main.exe over to the VM, and as soon as I launch it, let's actually just go ahead and make this full screen. It'll just start loading millions of these programs up. Again, we could have chose to hide the console, that way they don't see anything at all happening. Um, and eventually it's, like I can't even right click the screen. But eventually what's gonna happen is the VM should uh, have all of its memory used and it'll eventually crash. We'll see how long it takes to do that. Um, but what we'll eventually do uh, once we get our uh, further into the tutorial series and we actually connect to this machine over a network, we can distribute this malware onto the machine and throw it in the user startup folder. Uh, that way, even when they reboot the machine, it will automatically start doing this again, and we can make it hidden to where it doesn't show the console window. So. They, their computer is pretty much unusable unless they know how to go into safe mode and find that file in the startup menu and erase it. Um, not sure how long it's going to take to crash, but the computer is pretty much unusable at this point. Let me see if I can even get into task manager. Actually, uh, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and erase this just so I don't accidentally click it on my native computer. There we go. I have a feeling it's about to shut down. Yeah. Yeah, it just crashed. So let's go ahead and power that off. 
so yeah that's something real simple uh what we'll do is uh later on we'll actually um connect to the vm over a network uh upload our malware to the computer and also tell it to make a copy of itself in the startup folder uh, but that's that's coming soon and i'll see you guys in the next one